welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a first impression and review on the Physicians Formula Whaley and Butter Collection Face Palette. So if you're interested in seeing my first impression and review and application of the Physicians Formula and Whaley Butter Collection Face Palette, then just keep on watching. So before we get into my actual review and wear test and going over product information and stuff, I just want to show you guys a nice look at the palette. So we have the two bronzers, the two blushes, and then the two highlighters there. If you have ever watched any of my product review videos, you would know that I like to go over the product claims, all the information necessary to do our review. So I'm on the Physicians Formula, not the website, I'm on Shoppers Drug Mart, and the palette on Shoppers retails for $24.99 originally priced. That is like the regular price. That is what I purchased it for, $24.99, but it is currently on sale for $16.79. So hopefully it's still on sale when I get this up. In each little pan here, you are getting 5.5 grams of product, which is equivalent to 0.19 ounces. I wasn't able to find exactly how much product comes in the butter bronzer, but I do have a Physicians Formula Petal Glow Highlighter. And I'm pretty positive that this is the same size as their normal singles. And this has 0.32 ounces and 9.2 grams. In the palettes, you get 5.5 grams and in here you get 9.2. So it's not quite double the amount. I don't really mind not getting as much product, especially if it is a good product and you get it all together. I think this would be incredible, incredible for travel. So on the side here, the deep bronzer and the butter bronzer are part of their original line. Then all of the blushes and the highlights are limited edition. So I've never tried the butter highlight formula or the butter blush formula. So I won't really be able to compare that to the regular formula. And then these bronzers here claim to be the same as the regular formula. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this Petal Glow highlighter, so hopefully these ones are nicer. Now let's go ahead and dive into the actual product. I'm going to do my bronzer first, then my highlighter, then my blush. That's how I like to do things. I like to use blush as a way to blend all the powders together and like finish off the look. So I'm going to start out with the lighter bronzer. I'll probably build it up with the deeper one, do the more mauve blush, and then do the more pinky gold highlight. I just picked this up on my brush. I don't know. I think you can tell. The product is just sitting on top top of there and it is so pigmented. I like to take my bronzer pretty well all over my face, especially when I'm so fair like this. I do want to be nice and bronzed. This to me 100% feels the same as their normal butter bronze bronzer. It feels seems to be the same coloring. I know sometimes when products are in mini version or in limited edition packaging, like holiday kind of stuff, um, I know sometimes the quality isn't the same, but this definitely feels the same. I'm seeing no issues with this so far. It's blending beautifully. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with the highlight and see how that performs. So that was the um, Sunset Bronzer butter bronzer and now we are going to go in to the limited edition butter highlighter and this is in the shade whimsical it's like a gorgeous pinky gold so hopefully this is pigmented seems a little powdery which again was kind of my issue with the um rose all day highlighter i found it a little powdery Ooh, that looks pretty on camera let's see how it looks Ooh. Okay, I really like that. Sometimes I don't love like a pink unless I'm wearing like super pink blush and then I can layer it up and make it kind of like dramatic. This is really powdery, but it looks gorgeous on the face and the skin. It's sitting like super natural on the skin almost. It looks very luminous and pretty. And as always, you guys know, I love my nose highlight. I'm really building this up. That highlight looks absolutely gorgeous. Now it's time to go in with the butter blush. I've been wanting to try out the butter blushes for so long, which was another reason that I wanted to purchase this because I already knew that I wanted to repurchase the butter bronzer. And then I know that I've been wanting to try the blush formula. So I figured if the palette called to me, I would pick it up. So we're going to go in with the Butter Blush in Wild Flower. This is a pretty like muted mauve. Normally I'd go in with something more pink than this. So we'll see how it looks and then maybe I will add in some of that apricot blush. Again, very powdery. 
lots of kickback and if you guys didn't know i'm obsessed with blush i love it i love going like a little over the top with my blush so we will definitely build this up and see how it looks looks very pretty so far again lots of kickback i'm gonna dip into a tiny bit of the apricot shade and just focus it right on my cheekbones now i'm gonna dip into that highlight a little bit pop it off again I'm very pleasantly surprised with that highlight. Blush, I kind of need to see how it wears throughout the day and like settles into the skin. But highlight, I'm usually very, uh, not easily impressed with, but like quickly impressed with. I can usually tell if it's a formula that I will like or not. Now I feel like it looks so pretty and healthy and youthful and very spring summer vibes so I totally get the like vacation vibes that they were going for. I think it's really really good. I'm very impressed with it so far. Yeah I'm gonna go in and quickly swatch all of these and then we will be done with the video I think. This looks very pretty. Okay let's swatch the highlighters. Just going in with my fingers wiggling them around. I feel like you could easily apply these with your fingers. I never thought to do that but they are super super buttery. They feel almost like the super shock um, highlight formula from Colourpop. All right so I hope that you guys can see that but that there is how they swatch. The lighter one I already forget what it's called is the one I'm wearing today and then the darker one there is the more golden tone. They are so creamy and buttery. I think I am going to go ahead and apply a little bit with my finger of that lighter highlight. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, you can definitely use your fingers to apply these, um, which is great for a quick on-the-go travel palette. I love being able to use my fingers to melt product into the skin better. So that there is the two blushes. We have the apricot blush that is actually called apricot and the wild flower blush that's like more mauve pinky, and those are both limited edition shades. There we have the two bronzers that are not limited edition to this collection. You can buy these individually, and those are the deep bronzer and the sunset bronzer. So with those swatches, my review is complete. I absolutely love this. I honestly want to give it like a 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. I can't think of a time that the drugstore has impressed me this much in the last few months and I've been trying a lot of new stuff. I think the packaging is stunning. I think the formula is gorgeous. I think it's still relatively inexpensive, especially if you can get it on sale at that like $16 price tag. That is incredible for two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers, especially because I think that these shades can and will work on a good variety of skin tones. Very, very impressed with that highlighter. I'm pretty easily impressed by blush because I just like blush. Those are my final thoughts. So if you did like this video and you found it useful, helpful, whatever, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean a lot to me. And as always, I hope that you guys have an absolutely awesome day and thank Thank you so so much for watching bye